Hi, my name's Trev Hutchings, and this is how to add reverb and echo to a BandLab vocal track. If you're looking for that live band sound, you can add reverb straight to your BandLab vocal track. Near the bottom of the screen, tap FX. At the top right of the None Image icon, tap the plus icon. At the top right of the FX screen, tap the plus sign. Scroll through the tabs at the top of the screen with your finger and tap on the Reverb tab. Tap on the Space Maker Reverb. Drag the green dot on the green line to the right of the word Mix, towards the right until the number below the word Mix says 15%. Tap the drop down list to the right of the word type and tap on long plate. At the top left of the FX screen, tap the back arrow icon. At the bottom of the screen, tap the wave icon to return to the vocal recording. I came from the emptiness with nothing. Then out of the shadows came you out of the shadows came you. But what if you want that professional studio reverb sound? Well, professional doors have a type of track known as a bus, but Bandab doesn't. So here is my pro reverb hack. At the bottom left of the track mixer screen, tap on the mixer settings icon. On your vocal track, tap the three dots. Then tap duplicate. Double tap on the duplicate vocal track image icon. At the bottom of the screen, tap on FX. At the top right of the None Image icon, tap the plus icon. If a pop-up Edit This Preset message appears, tap Edit. At the top right of the FX screen, tap the plus sign. Scroll through the tabs at the top of the screen with your finger and tap on the Tone tab. Tap on Graphic EQ. Drag the green dot on the green line to the right of 800Hz and 1.6kHz all the way to the left. This will make your vocals sound cleaner. Drag the green dot on the green line to the right of 6.4kHz all the way to the left to remove the high pitches of the reverb. At the top right of the FX screen, tap the plus sign. Scroll through the tabs at the top of the screen with your finger and tap on the Reverb tab. Tap on the Space Maker Reverb. Drag the green dot on the green line to the right of the word Mix all the way to the right. At the top left of the FX screen, tap the back arrow icon. At the bottom of the screen, tap the wave icon to return to your vocal recording. At the bottom left of the screen, tap the mixer settings icon. Drag the white dot on the white line to adjust the amount of reverb to suit your vocal track. I came from the emptiness with nothing. out of the shadows came you out of the shadows came you sometimes what your vocal track needs is some special effects so here is my hack on how to add echo to just one word in your vocal track 
At the bottom left of the track mixer screen, tap on the mixer settings icon. On your vocal track, tap the three dots, then tap duplicate. Then tap on the mixer settings icon again. At the top left of the screen, tap the snap icon so it is not green. Drag the screen with your finger until the white vertical track position marker is at the beginning of the word you want to create an echo on. Each word is shown as a group of white lines, so find the white line that begins the word. Tap on the duplicate track so it is highlighted, then tap Slice. Tap on the recorded section that is before the slice and tap Cut. Now drag the screen with your finger until the white vertical track position marker is at the end of the word you want to create an echo on. Tap on the duplicate track so it is highlighted, then tap Slice. Tap on the recorded section that is after the slice and tap Cut. Now double tap on the duplicate vocal track image icon. At the bottom of the screen, tap on Effects. At the top right of the None Image icon, tap the plus icon. If a pop-up Edit This Preset message appears, tap Edit. At the top right of the Effects screen, tap the plus sign. Scroll through the tabs at the top of the screen with your finger and tap on the Delay tab. Tap on Filter Echo. Drag the green dot on the green line to the right of the word Mix all the way to the right. Drag the green dot on the green line to the right of the word Delay to match the tempo of your song. To calculate the milliseconds for the delay, divide 60 seconds by the beats per minute of your song. My song is 113 beats per minute, so 60 divided by 113 gives me 530. So I move the green dot until the number below the word delay is 530 milliseconds. Drag the green dot on the green line to the right of the word feedback, towards the right to increase the number of times the word is echoed, or move it towards the left to reduce the number of times the word is echoed. At the top left of the FX screen, tap the back arrow icon. At the bottom of the screen, tap the wave icon to return to your vocal recording. At the bottom left of the screen, tap the Mixer Settings icon. Now drag the white dot on the white line to adjust the volume of the echo to suit your vocal track. Out of the shadows came you, you, you. If you've enjoyed this video, do give us a thumbs up and click on that subscribe button. Cheers.